Hi, I'm Kelly Wolf, and today I'll show you how to cast your own polyacrylamide gel using our new TurboMix Bistris gel casting kit. The TurboMix Bistris gel casting kit comes in two different sizes, enough to make 10 gels or 60 gels. This kit has been optimized to simplify gel preparation steps and minimize reagent waste. The TurboMix kit includes a resolving solution, which is used to form the bottom resolving portion of your gel, and a stacking solution to form the top stacking portion of your gel. The TurboMix resolving solution is specially formulated to allow users to dilute it to their desired acrylamide percentage using only deionized water. The gel casting process takes less time with TurboMix by using a quick cast protocol in which the stacking solution is poured immediately after the resolving solution without waiting for polymerization. I'll demonstrate the quick cast protocol now. Before I start, I'll assemble my casting stand and cassette, making sure that the plates are free of any chips that may cause leaking. These solutions can be used with any individual casting equipment. Here, I'll be using a mini gel cassette with a one millimeter thickness. The glass plates should be cleaned with alcohol and a lint-free wipe prior to use. The desired height of the resolving gel can be marked on the glass plates, usually one centimeter below the comb teeth. Next, I'll prepare a fresh 10% APS solution. APS, in combination with TMED, initiates and accelerates acrylamide polymerization. The 10% APS can be made fresh before each use or can be aliquoted and stored at minus 20 Celsius. Now I'll mix my resolving and stacking gels. You can use the tables in the user guide to calculate how much resolving and stacking solution you'll need. For this size cassette, we'll need six milliliters of resolving solution and two milliliters of stacking solution. The resolving solution is provided at 20% acrylamide and can be diluted with deionized water to your desired gel percentage between eight and 15%. So to make a 10% gel, I'll add three milliliters of resolving solution to three milliliters of deionized water. The stacking solution is provided at 4% acrylamide and should not be diluted. Next, I'll add 3 microliters of TMED and 30 microliters of APS to the resolving gel, and then add 2 microliters of TMED and 20 microliters of APS to the stacking gel. and mix both solutions by gently inverting the conicals. Try to avoid introducing air bubbles while mixing. Once APS and TMET are added, the gels will begin to polymerize, so gels should be poured quickly after this step. Now I will fill the cassette with resolving gel to the marked height. The stacking gel can be added directly on top of the resolving gel without waiting for polymerization. You may see a dip form where pipetting takes place and this will level out over time. Add enough stacking gel to reach the top of your cassette and this will prevent bubble formation around the comb teeth. Finally, I will add the comb to form wells in the gel. Inserting the comb at an angle can help to prevent air from getting trapped under the teeth. Some overflow will occur and this is normal. Let the gel polymerize in the casting stand for one hour before using it or storing it for later use. Gels can be wrapped in wet paper towels and stored in a Ziploc bag at four degrees Celsius for up to four weeks. The TurboMix solutions can also be used in a standard gel casting protocol. For more information, visit sigmaaldridge.com to see the complete user guide. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.